We've all had bad days. And so often, a day that starts out rough just keeps getting worse. Find a quiet, safe space in a comfortable position. Whether that quiet place is in a parked car or a quiet room, Start by closing your eyes and just focus on the silence. Feel how your body holds space for the air you're taking in. Finding yourself in a balance of focus and relaxation. As we go through the day, we collect tension in the body. Allow any tension you're still holding on to to rise. Know that this tension served a purpose for you today. It's time for any emotions or heaviness you've been carrying around with you to come forward. Think of an experience that recently caused you anger and frustration. A time where you felt like you could no longer hold yourself together because the pressure of holding it all in just became too much. A time where you felt like you couldn't do anything right. Where your strength was being tested. As you think about your experience, imagine it all playing out right in front of you. And feel how your body reacts to the charge of the emotional energy inside as you think about it. Let the tension rise. Negative thoughts and experiences like this one are stored in the body and our bodies find ways of holding on to them tightly. Feeling anger towards someone or pain in situations. These experiences send a message from our body to our soul that we've wandered off our path. A path that's filled with lessons that we've agreed to learn in this lifetime. Our soul, our highest self, we're being given an opportunity right now to heal something. It could be a core wounding, something you experienced as a child with a parent, a parent who was inconsistent, A parent who you could sometimes count on to be there for you, 
and sometimes you couldn't. Not in the way you really needed them. So now, as an adult, you're missing a sense of deep safety and security in relationships. You feel like you can't lean on and trust the person you're with to really keep you safe. Because you're subconsciously waiting for the other shoe to drop. For other people to prove your belief right that you can't fully trust others to be there for you. And if you do, they'll likely let you down and hurt you. So, you don't fully trust, and this keeps you safe. This person or situation that made you so angry and frustrated, their soul has come here to help you heal. And the anger and frustration and challenges, they are your warning system to pay attention, to find the lesson But sometimes, it's hard to see it from this perspective. To see that there is something greater than you and greater than me happening that goes far beyond basic relationship dynamics. Rather, we judge the situation and we blame the other person for what's happening to us. for what they're doing to us. But this prevents us from learning the lesson and for understanding the true message. This prevents us from healing and from being able to move on. If we continue to ignore the lessons our soul has agreed to learn in this lifetime, more discomfort must be created until the warning system has to be so loud or the pain so intense that we have no choice but to pay attention. What has come up for you to be healed? Has this situation played out other times and in other relationships? What are the similarities? Regardless of how many times your greatest hits have played out in front of you, you have been called here today to understand the lesson and finally to start to heal. As a way of mirroring your subconscious beliefs that you are not enough or no one will ever love you the way that you need them to, or that people abandon you. At some point in your life, 
you started to believe that you were broken or not enough or not good enough. Negative subconscious beliefs get buried so deeply that you sometimes even lose awareness of them. And life will always work with you to prove that whatever you believe is true. But these original beliefs that you've created, they're easily triggered through interactions, experiences, and in relationships. Because your soul wants to heal. Your soul wants to grow and to move on and to continue to evolve toward becoming your highest, truest self. While you're listening to this, there may be hidden fears you have about the idea of letting this go. As if it would be a failure on some level. Or that by no longer needing to be right, The other person is somehow no longer wrong. Continue to breathe, fully focusing on your exhale. And welcome a shift in perspective towards this experience. See this experience for the first time from the viewpoint that it was here to teach you something. Acknowledge today that holding on to any shame or guilt over this, it no longer serves you. Know that in some way, this person has been your teacher. that this experience has been a lesson that you were meant to learn all along. Give yourself permission to let go of any shame you've felt. Let any guilt or shame release from your body With every breath, let go of the feelings of anxiety still lingering. Allow your body to become heavy as it settles deeper into a state of peace. Let the feeling of self-love and acceptance for the lessons you've learned and for the lessons that you will continue to learn. Notice how your body feels lighter somehow as you let go of this. Of the heaviness and weight that you no longer need to carry with you. These feelings of heaviness and resentment that you've been holding, they have been created by you. 
as you hear those words, you can have a new understanding that you have the power to add and remove negativity in your life. And that you have the power within to let this go now. Give yourself permission to release anything that no longer serves you in this moment. Start to feel a sense of ease, a sense of having a reset of the body and the mind. A sense of gratitude for all that you have. A life where you are thankful for the support of the universe and for those who act as guides around you. For all the lessons in the past that you've learned from. for your ability to move through them and for new experiences to flow to you. You are choosing to be centered and present at this moment. You are allowing your life to unfold without fear or worry. You are giving yourself permission to let this go. To release the pressure of having to stay in control to feel safe. You are learning that the more you are present in your life, the more you can experience inner peace. Life is not random. It provides for the purposeful unfoldment of our own divine plan. When you are ready, come back to the space around you. to the love you have created within yourself and for the continued opportunity to grow. If you found this coaching meditation helpful and you're ready to make a permanent, lasting shift in your life and your relationships, Schedule a free one-on-one coaching call with me. Find the link to my client intake form in the meditation description. Let's change your awareness and change your life.